Okay, so we've just installed your Tesla Powerwall. We're going to give you a little bit of blackout training so you can be prepared. So what I would do is I'd turn off the main switch and then I would really test the battery and see how far I can push it before it trips. So uh, I've got two Powerwalls, so I turn one off um, and there's a little switch on the side of the battery. And then what I did is I turned on uh, the oven, I have turned on the induction cooktop, I had the air cons going, I had a space heater running, and then it was getting close to its limits and then I put on a kettle um, and that was enough to trip it. And what we found with the Teslas is you first start to see the lights dim. It's really working hard to keep it going, and then it trips. Now, the great thing is it automatically resets. So if you do get to the point where you trip your battery, turn off those high-powered items. Another way I guess you could do it is if you've got a weekend free, just flick off your main switch and see how long you last. You last two days, you're going to last one day, you know, just live as normal, see, see how far you will get through on the battery. I think this is where Tesla has a really great feature as well. It actually tells you how many hours you've got mm. remaining and it'll come up as a pop-up as well if you're getting close to running out. Now, one of the great features of the Tesla system, and we mentioned this before, is a feature called Stormwatch. If there is a severe weather warning for your area, Tesla gets a notification through your local you know, weather forecast data and it'll actually trigger your battery to charge up from the grid um, in preparation of you losing power. Yeah, okay. So that's all good with weather data, but what if there's, you, you get a letterbox drop from Energex saying that they're going to turn the power out on the weekend, Stormwatch is not going to help you there. No. So that's a really good question, mm. Mark. So Tesla have just recently introduced a feature or a setting called Maximum Backup. And so you can click on that and it'll essentially force charge your battery to 100% and it will sit there at 100% in preparation for that grid outage. If you want to charge a battery for free, there's a thing called time-based control. And this is uh, a feature I use myself. So um, look, you can either be on self-powered mode where the batteries will just charge and discharge to keep what's going to and from the grid zero. That's sort of your standard, you know, solar battery setup. But time-based control, I can tell the battery what prices I'm paying at what times. And the Tesla is very smart. It will actually choose when's the best time to charge my battery, when's the best time to discharge the battery, and even hold on to that battery capacity, say, let's say when I'm in a, in a cheap period. The blue period in between 11 and 2, that's my free period. And you can get this with with companies like Ovo, uh, Energy, or uh, Glowbird on the Zero Hero plan. Because there's so much solar in the grid, you might as well use other people's solar power to top up your battery if you don't have enough. If it's a rainy day, you've always got a fully charged battery by two o'clock and they'll get you through the night. And it's free. It's fantastic. And you're also helping out the grid and getting free power. Yep. Win-win.